Okay, let's look at this problem here, where I want to find a certain percentile. This p sub 20 means a percentile. And um, I want to find the 20th percentile of the standard normal distribution. So we're given that the mean is 100. There's in the middle the mean's 100. And each standard deviation that you go out is 15. So 15 here would be 85. 15 here would be 115, right? Two standard deviations, etc., And keep moving out to three. And we want to find where is the probability that I go and shade like this, right? I shade 20%. Where does that happen? Where's 20%? So we're looking at 0 0.20 means the shaded area. So if you use a table, which you can do, you can do, you can use a table, but it's a little more challenging because you're actually finding a z-score then, and this isn't standardized. So you'd find a z-score. Then you'd have to put in the information into the formula and solve for your x. So it's going to be quite a bit of work. You'd get your mu, your standard deviation, and your z-score, and then you would solve for x. But what we can do is just take stat crunch. Stat, calculator, normal. And we just put in our information, a mean of 100 standard deviation of 15 and then we want that left tail to be 20 percent so we want to know we want to know what this one is so we put the 20 percent in the area right here we have 87.38 87.38 87.38 that's the x value where you would have a 20 percent probability and now must come up to about right in there, just like this, if I graph it right, right? Because that's 85 and 87 would be there, 87.38. And it makes sense because the 20% is obviously going to be less than the mean considerably. And so that would be uh, the x value that gives you this shaded area. All right, let's use one with some context here. Assume that the adults have IQ scores that are normally distributed the mean of 99.5 and a standard deviation of 22.1. Find the first quartile, so 25%, right, which is the IQ score separating the bottom 25% from the top 25%. So 84.6 is the, the answer. Let's kind of look at this. We could draw a picture if we wanted to, just to kind of get an idea of what it looks like. We have the graph, and in the middle, right, and in the middle right there is the mean, 99.5, standard deviation of 22.1. Okay. And we're looking for the bottom 25%. So somewhere over here is 25%, and we want to find that shaded area. Where is the bottom 25%? What does it look like? So I go into StatCrunch. Go into my calculator, modify my mean to 99.5, modify my standard deviation to 22.1, bottom 25%, we put over here, we want 0.25 to be to the left, 84.59 or 84.6 is the answer. So these are, the percentile is in this area, it's a probability or percent. If you want to find the top 25%, I'd just change it here. But if I wanted the top 25%, I'd got to come in here and redo it and put 25% in for it to adjust. Okay, so there's the top 25%.